Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. We're here for Saturday, November 23rd's action. We have eight exciting races. Let's get right to those track and weather conditions. We're starting today with a fast main track. The races have been taken off the turf. Our first race is six furlong sprint. It's a maiden claiming event. For maiden elite two-year-olds, we have 10 runners going postward with the off-time favorite number two, Collar and me. They're off. Java Mine on the far outside is sent out for speed. Lori's Comprise and Belladini also fast from the beginning. These three out for the lead together. Then it's Baby Butterscotch, You Never Learned to the Outside, followed by Natural Bling and Carla and Me. Break of two and a half back to Starship Marquee. They're being followed next by Scarlet Dixie and Runaway Bridal is at the back of the field with a half mile to go. The opening quarter went in 22 and two fifth seconds, and it's Belladini who's out there on a two and a half length lead round the far turn. Up the fence, Baby Butterscotch now charges on through, takes second. You Never Learn is third, Lori's Comprise is fourth. Java Mind is dropping back through the field. Scarlet Dixie goes up on the far outside, and then it's Carlin Me. It is Belladini on top as they come toward the top of the stretch. Ran a 45 and four half mile. Belladini in front coming to mid stretch. You never learn to the outside, tries to close in in second, and then it's Baby Butterscotch in third. Belladini holding on to the lead at the 16th pole. On the outside, you never learn closing in. You never learn alongside of Belladini. These two down to the wire. You never learn. Steve DeMoro's thousandth win. And then it was Belladini, natural bling, and starship marquee. Number nine, you never learn, gets up to win it for owner Murray Stroud, trained by Steve. Steve DeMar, written by Joe Bravo, and that was Steve DeMar's 1,000th career victory. Congratulations to Steve DeMar. There you see him in the winner's circle, and congratulations once again. Our second race, five and a half furlongs, an allowance optional claim event for Phillies and Mass three-year-olds, and up we have eight runners going postward with no scratches or jockey changes to report. They're off. Not a good start for our year. It's Lady from Havana firing out fast from the inside. Chipette's got speed two right behind them. Silver Sachet co-railed down on the inside. Now being shuffled back and passed by Billboard Babe and Great Red Beauty. After that comes Our Secret Place and Our Year is the trailer. And they race for the turn, Lady from Havana and Chipette to the outside. These two went at 22 and one for the opening quarter. And with three furlongs to go, they're a length and a half in front of Silver Sachet and Great Red Beauty to the outside. Break of three to our year. Then the favorite, Corail, who's got work to do. Down on the inside, five lengths off the lead. Billboard Babe in our secret place at the back. They're coming to the top of the stretch. And Chipette has taken the lead. Silver Sachet runs at Chipette to the outside. Lady from Havana has the rail in third. And then it's three lengths back to Great Red Beauty and Corail. Final 16th, Chipette and Silver Sachet. Down to these two and Silver Sachet's in front. Chipette keeps on fighting on the inside all the way to the wire. Silver Sachet over Chipette. Lady from Havana was third and then came Great Red Beauty. Number five, Silver Sachet scores and pays $33.20 to win. Owned by Joe Balsamo, trained by Leo Aspura Jr. and ridden to victory today by apprentice Jonathan Gonzalez. We're going to take a short break and be back for the third race in just a couple of moments. Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. With a more streamlined interface for faster wagering. With more handicapping insights from our world-class experts. With more racetracks, nearly 200 to choose from. And with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races. Your way. Welcome to Express Bet. Your way to play. Ocala Breeder Sales Company, where champions and grade one stakes winners are sold, presents the next event on our sales calendar, the OBS Winter Mix Sale, January 22nd and 23rd. OBS, we measure success by performance. Welcome back for the third race of the afternoon. It's uh, going to stretch out to a one-turn mile. It's a maiden event for maiden Philly two-year-olds. One scratch in here, number eight, newly fashioned. They're off. 
Nora in the Sky came out quickly and goes out to the early lead. On the inside with speed is Pomeroy's Info. These two are out the best as they race out of the chute. Pomeroy's Info and Nora in the Sky, and they match strides on the lead as they leave the chute and race onto the main track. High Dixie Ibis is right there in between horses fighting for the front. These three up top, and then comes Think of You, who's fourth and down on the inside. Hot Sirachi off the rail, running in fifth as they continue their way up the back stretch. Then it's Old Wives' Tail. Awesome Nicole is next on the outside by two. Then Formal Quality and Senior Darina, Senorita Davina is down on the inside, trailing the field with a half mile to go. It is Pomeroy's Info in front for a 45 and four half mile. Leads the way by a head around the far turn. And High Dixie Ibis is right alongside with three furlongs to go. Nora in the sky follows in third, a length off the lead. Think of you as fourth down on the inside with two lengths to make up as they come toward the quarter pole. Then it's Hot Sirachi. Awesome Nicole's on the far outside. They're coming to the top of the stretch. High Dixie Ibis. Pomeroy's Info hangs in there, whips out on Pomeroy's Info, and High Dixie Ibis is in front as they come to the eighth pole. Pomeroy's Info, second by another four. Hot Sirachi and Fantastic Voyage, who's now moving on the far outside. High Dixie Ibis in front, close to home from Pomeroy's Info. Fantastic Voyage is third. High Dixie Ibis over Pomeroy's Info, Fantastic Voyage, and Hot Sirachi. Number six, High Dixie Ibis scores and gives apprentice jockey Jonathan Gonzalez his second consecutive victory, owned by Joyce Tony Walpole, trained by David Fox. A fourth race, the main track has been downgraded to good, is a one-turn mile, a maiden event for maiden two-year-olds, one jockey change on the three, improvise brush, make the run at J.A. Garcia. Off. Mendocino Joe had a good start from that far outside and goes out to the front. Brown's Gap also with speed to the inside as the field races out of the chute. Cross boundary right up there in between horses along with Victory Mast and Mr. Candy coming through on the inside. Then gaining ground followed by World Changer down toward the rail and Sea of Faces is at the back of the field as they race up the back stretch. And they continue their way up the back stretch in pursuit of Mr. Candy, who ran 23 and 2 for the opening quarter, leads a length and a half. Brown's Gap is running in second. Mendocino Joe goes up on the far outside. Victory Mast running in fourth, right in there between horses, four across the track, two lengths ahead of gaining ground. Then World Changer to the outside, a 46 and 2 half mile as the field makes their way around the far turn. And with three furlongs to go, it is Mr. Candy on the inside. In front by a head, Brown's Gap alongside in second. Behind them, Victory Mast is third. Mendocino Joe, the favorite, has dropped back now and is being passed by horses on the outside. Gaining ground is down at the fence. And then comes World Changer, who's five lengths off the lead. And they're into the stretch. And it's Mr. Candy and Brown's Gap. These two to the eighth pole together. And then Victory Mass to the outside third and gaining ground is at the fence and they come into the final 16th. Mr. Candy, Brown's Gap, gaining ground on the inside. On the far outside, it's World Changer. It's Mr. Candy in front. And Mr. Candy does it over gaining ground. Then it was Brown's Gap third and close for fourth. A sweet victory by number four, Mr. Candy, owned by Moore Racing LLC, trained by Brian Lynch, and ridden the victory today by Paco Lopez. We'll take a short break and be back for the fifth in a couple of minutes. Starship Truffles is going to blitz him in the grade one Princess Rooney. Judy the Beauty, second best. And it is Moreno who's going to win it wire to wire here and strides under the line as a much the best winner of the Dwyer. Better lucky with Day at the Spa. Better lucky to take it by head on the line. Go Saver, scary good in 2013. And among the leaders by stakes winners again this year, standing at Adina Springs. Breakfast at Gulfstream, a popular Saturday morning tradition, is back. Breakfast at Gulfstream will run from 7 to 10 a.m. every Saturday. Come out and enjoy the all-you-can-eat breakfast for only $8. 
For the fourth consecutive season, the public is invited to enjoy breakfast while watching some of the racing's top thoroughbreds work out before enjoying a free tour of Gulfstream's backstretch and barn area. Breakfast at Gulfstream will once again be hosted by Sandy Bruno, former assistant trainer to Hall of Famer Woody Stevens. So join us for breakfast each and every Saturday at beautiful Gulfstream Park. The fifth race, now contested at one mile on a sloppy track. It's a maiden event for maiden two-year-olds. Scratch the one Candyman can. The nine Dylan Ward on the also eligible list. Scratch 13 and 16. They're off. Chart Topper is out fast. Gelfenstein with speed two. And right up there is my Stormtrooper. Followed by Polished Express as they race down the chute. Gelfenstein on the inside, battling it out up front with Chart Topper. And these two are head and head on the lead as they leave the chute. And then it's My Storm Trooper up running in third by another two. And they're followed by Maximum Express. Polished Degree on the inside is next by another two lengths. And Throne is after that. And then comes Twin Distinction, followed by Caspian Sea, Ringgold to the outside. Prospector John in some sweet sunset right there. Right to the outside of horses, and now moving up is Mesa Way at the back of the field. As they race past the half mile pole, Gelfenstein is the leader, went 47 flat for a half mile, and leads it by a neck. Chart Topper on the outside. My Stormtrooper joins them three wide. And now My Stormtrooper takes the lead with three furlongs to go. And then Throne gets going now. And Throne circling up with speed on the far outside. Now taking over second. Chart Topper is back running in third. Polished Degree fourth to the outside. Then Gelfenstein who's given way at the rail. And Caspian C. Three quarters in one, 12 and one. They're into the stretch and thrown in my Stormtrooper. These two head and head on the lead. Jover, Chamafi, and then thrown. Now a neck in front. My Stormtrooper fights on from the inside. They're well clear of the others. Enthrone and my Stormtrooper keeps on battling. Enthrone's got it close to home. Enthrone a half length on my Stormtrooper at the finish. Polished Degree was third and Caspian C fourth. Number two, Enthrone scores for Ona Handel via Ruel, trained by the one and only Alan Jerkins, ridden a victory today by Jill Virchamafi. Our sixth race, a six furlong sprint on the sloppy main track, it's allowance event for Phillies two-year-olds. Scratch the eight is true, the 11 solitary. And note, there is a jockey change on the five. The rider is now Ray Gonpot. They're off. Joanne's Wildcat out broke the field and is out for the front with Inner Goddess away in second and then comes phased on the inside and now Inner Goddess is taking over the lead. Then it's back to indubitably Ellie, Morris Purse to the outside. In behind them is Araxia, Hot and Dangerous is after that and then La Chuchi on the inside. Golden Friendships last of them all as the field speeds into the turn where Paco Lopez and Inner Goddess show the way. They're on top a half a length to Joanne's Wildcat second through a 22 flat quarter break of two, then phased on the inside of indubitably Ellie, Morris Purse is next. Golden Friendships is making progress with a rail run, now six lengths off the lead and continuing to move. La Chuchi is after that as they come toward the top of the stretch. Joanne's Wildcat takes over from Inner Goddess. At the top of the lane, it's Joanne's Wildcat in front. Inner Goddess giving way, Golden Friendships coming up the fence, and on the outside it's phased, and they're into the final furlong, and Joanne's Wildcat is drifting out, but well clear of the others. Edgar Prado and Joanne's Wildcat all alone under the wire. The race is for second, tight maybe Golden Friendships in a photo with phased, and then came Araxia and Inner Goddess. It's number nine, Joanne's Wildcat scoring from Monarch Stables Incorporated, trained by Larry Pilati and ridden to victory today by Edgar Prado. We'll take a short break, be back for the seventh in feature race and a short stop in Louisiana in just a few minutes. Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. 
with a more streamlined interface for faster wagering, with more handicapping insights from our world-class experts, with more racetracks, nearly 200 to choose from, and with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races your way. Welcome to ExpressBet, your way to play. Hey fans, you want to see the Gulfstream Park replay show? It's on GulfstreamPark.com each and every race day. A bit is rum point. Before Here we get to our Ken seventh and feature race of the afternoon, we're going to head down to Louisiana and look at the 11th 11, running of the $1 million Dollar Delta Downs jackpot at grade three of it. But here comes Rank Has Privileges. Mighty Brown is under a drive on the inside. Then Cassie Guapo. Big Bazinga has checked out. Coastline is back from there, but it's Rise Up who has the lead. Rise Up went three quarters, 111.94. He's coming to the 16th pole. It's Gerard Malonson and Rise Rise up, air up the tires, gas up the tank. He's on the road to the Derby. It's Rise Up in the $1 million Delta Downs jackpot. Number 10, Rise Up proves too tough for them in the $1 million Delta Downs jackpot. Trained by Tommy Amos, ridden to victory today by Gerard Melanson. Our seventh race moved from the turf to one mile and one sixteenth on the sloppy main track. Lots of scratches in here. Scratch the one, the two, the three, the four, the six, the eight, the ten, the fourteen, the fifteen, and sixteen. And note the jockey on the seven is Paco Lopez. They're off. And Valid is sent out to take the lead. Imperial Robin is fast from the gate too. These two, one, two, as they move into that first turn. And then it's Vinegar Hill who came out running in third position just to the outside of Starship Avenger who now takes third. Eldoro has caught three wide on the turn, four and a half lengths off the lead and leading only Whisper on the Wind in the run on the first turn. It is Valid and Matthew Rispoli out on the lead as they race onto the back stretch. Imperial Robin three quarters of a length behind at 23 and two first quarter. Eldoro is third to the outside. Then it's Starship Avenger down at the rail. Vinegar Hill is back in fifth right now with three and a half lengths to make up and another three and a half back to the trailer, Whisper on the Wind. They continue up the back stretch. Valid a half length on top of Imperial Robin. Eldoro third to the outside. And then it's Starship Avenger down at the rail. Behind them is Vinegar Hill, still about four lengths off the lead as they race for the turn. And Whisper on the Wind continues to track them. 47 flat for the first half mile. And Valid has some daylight now. Valid pulls away by two. And Imperial Robin is full out, running in second. It's four lengths more back to Starship Avenger. The field is really scattered here. And Vinegar Hill is dropping back. Eldoro, the favorite, is dead last. It's all Valid at the top of the stretch. Just a matter of how far. Valid is 10 in front under a hand ride. Imperial Robin is second. And then comes Starship Avenger on the outside. Valid is going to win by as many as you can come up with here. Might have been 20 lengths. Then Imperial Robin, followed by Starship Avenger and Whisper on the Wind. Number five, Valley draws off. He won it by, it looked like a mile. He was way in front. Owned by Cross Sabres Farm, trained by Marcus Vitale. Ridden to victory today by Matthew Rispoli. The eighth and final race moved from the turf to one mile and one sixteenth on the sloppy main track to maiden claiming event for maiden Phillies and mares three, four, and five. Scratch the one, the two, the four, the six, and number eight. They're off. Alondra Sky is going to the front. Jill's image on the far outside out of the gate well. These two out for the lead and Teufelized came out running in third behind them. Break of two and a half. Back to Me Doctora, who's fourth on the first turn. And then comes Airtime to the outside. Geeg's Miracle trails the field and races seven lengths off of front running Alondra Sky. Alondra Sky taking him to the back stretch, a half length in front of Jill's image, with Teufelized sitting right behind them through a 24 and two quarter. Then comes airtime and fourth as they straighten onto the back stretch, five lengths to make up for airtime. After that comes Me Doctora, and Geeg's Miracle is eight lengths off the lead. Up the back stretch they go. Alondra Sky out there by a neck. 
Jill's image on the outside second, and behind them is Teufel Eyes, who tracks the top two, and now is going to try to squeeze through an opening at the fence. Teufel Eyes coming through on the inside of the front runners with a half mile to go. Teufelized on the inside. Alondra Sky keeps the lead. Teufelized did not want to go through there. And now Jill's Image goes up three wide. And Jill's Image takes the lead. Jill's Image now in front. On the outside, Alondra Sky. Teufelized continues to be in tight traffic on the inside. And now Me Doctora is getting into the mix with a three wide move. But Me Doctora is hard ridden here. Jill's Image and Jose Garcia, the ones to beat as they come to the top of the stretch. Me Doctora goes wide into second, and then comes Alondra Sky and Teufelized on the inside. Jill's image all alone. Jill's image and Jose Garcia coming home an easy winner here. It's going to be Me Doctora second, and then Alondra Sky and Teufelized. Number 11, Jill's image splashes to victory in the nightcap owned by the Rose family stable, trained by Barrett Rose, ridden to victory today by Jose Garcia. In the pick four, four of four paid $194.30. The pick five, five of five, $1,962.05. Four of five, $33.50. In the pick six, six of six paid $1,204.94. There's a carryover, must be given away tomorrow. That's $7,769.61. And here are those claims. That wraps up the Saturday card. Remember, Sunday, come out and see us. We'll have eight exciting races. And boy, our seventh in feature race, the $62,000 optional claimer, got the return of Traveling Man and Reveron. You got to watch that race. Good night and good luck. <laughs>